एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी एंड विल बी स्टार्टिंग द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो इफ यू हैवन वॉच द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो यू कैन क्लिक द लिंक बिलो In this part, we would be covering uh, the orthographic projections in detail. Welcome to S Chand Academy. The similar uh, concepts, the detailed concepts, would be available in the book by S Chand Publishing. If you don't have the copy of the book, click the link below in the description box to download your copy. So this video would be based on. module number 2 which is orthographic projection and this is the second part that consist of the topics which are principles of orthographic projections and the convections which are being highlighted here in this slides so here in my previous video i have talked about different quadrants uh, that will be placing the objects in let's say i have these two planes which is the vertical plane and another plane is called as the the horizontal plane so we have two planes one is the horizontal plane this one and another one is the vertical plane and these two planes are uh, used to divide uh, the segments into four quadrants namely first quadrant the second quadrant the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant and the observer is here let's say for an example i'm telling you that i have an object which is let's say this object which is let's say a point in my previous video i have talked about the general notation that we would be following so the general notation to write the front view is dash and the general notation to write the top view is without a dash so here if the observer is watching the object from the front he would get the front view here and i'll represent it as a dash similarly if the object or if the observer is watching it from the top he'll get the top view here which is called as a now what happens uh, these two objects are to be indicated separately in the drawing so in order to indicate this separately what we'll do we'll rotate this horizontal plane 90 degree um, clockwise so we'll be rotating this horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise so what do we get so i'll have an xy line this is the case xy line and when i am showing this these two views these two views one would be exactly below the other so i would be indicating with the help of a projector and this would be a light line and here i would be writing the name of the point as a dash and here the name of the point would be a so here these views are indicated in a orthographic fashion so here is the case of the object which is in first quadrant now let us come to another situation in which the object is let's say in the second quadrant situation as you can see here the object let's say it is b that is in the second quadrant now what i'll do i'll throw the light from here and i'll get the view of the object as b dash and from the top i'll get the view here which is b now the case is i'll be rotating it 90 degree clockwise so when this horizontal plane is rotated 90 degree clockwise so b and b dash may overlap with each other so in the second quadrant what do you have you'll have the xy line and here you have both the cases namely b dash and b or there is a possibility in which both the views would overlap so this would be the case of the second quadrant situation when the object is there in the second quadrant now the situation comes when the object is there in the third quadrant what would happen then now let's say i have an object which is c and i'm watching this object from the front i'm throwing the light on the object so i'll get the front view here 
and the top view on the horizontal plane. So I'll get the top view here on C. So what happens, I'll be rotating it 90 degree clockwise. So when this part, so when this part is rotated, so C dash would be below the same, the XY line and C would be above the XY line. So in this situation, C which was the top view, which would be above the XY line and C dash, which is the front view that would be below the XY line. It is opposite situation or the opposite case of what we learnt in the first quadrant situation. Now let us keep the object in the fourth quadrant. So here the object D is there in the fourth quadrant. So here what I will do, I will be um, throwing the light here and I will get the object D dash here because it is the front view and the top view will occur here. And what I will do, I will rotate this um, horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise. So this would uh, give to the clear cut situation in which D and D dash would overlap. So here what happens, this would be the projector and in that situation, this D dash and D may overlap, there is a possibility. So this is the case of the fourth quadrant situation. Now let us compile all the cases and have some justification. I have these four situations. Number one situation when my object was there in the first quadrant, I had the front view above the XY line and the top view was below the XY line. In the second situation, uh, when the object was there in the second quadrant, both the views, front view and the top view of the object are were there above the XY line. In the third quadrant situation, it is opposite of what we have seen in the first quadrant situation. That means the top view was above and the front view was below the XY line. And in the third situation, both the front view and the top view were below the XY line. So this is the situation. Now I would ask a question to the audience that which case would you prefer keeping the object? I would expect some answers in the comment section. Which keeping the object in which view would you prefer? See the obvious answer to the question is I would be uh, I would love to keep the object either in first quadrant or in the third quadrant situation because in the second quadrant situation both the views would overlap and in order to give an information if the views are overlapping it would lead to a confusion and here in the fourth quadrant situation also both the views are overlapping. So in the technical language we would not keep the objects in the first in the second quadrant as well as in the fourth quadrant rather we try to keep the objects in um, in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant situation now the basic principle uh, i am just going to summarize the basic principle of this orthographic projection uh, i have told you that we have two cases one is called as the first angle projection so in the first angle projection what we have, we will have the front view above the XY line and exactly below this we have the top view, correct. So front view is above the XY line and the top view is below that XY line and we have the situation which is called as the third angle projection in which we keep the object generally in the third quadrant and in that situation what happens we have an xy line and we have a projector above xy line we have the top view below that we have the front view right in india where we are using the matrix system mm system generally we use the first angle projection 
and in the foreign country we would be using the third angle projection. So this is the basic idea, basic concept behind the orthographic projection. Uh, in my next video I would be covering or I would be talking about the projection of points. So we come to an end of the second part of this video. The similar uh, concepts, the detailed concepts would be available in the book by S. Chand Publishing. If you don't have the copy of the book, click the link below in the description box to download your copy. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.